Thanks to machines, we can now perform excessively heavy or laborious tasks accurately and quickly without growing weary or compromising our safety. Most of the physical work is meant to be done by machines and workers support the machinery. How diverse can giant machines be across multiple lines of business? Now we are going to analyze how these machines work. What kinds of work do these machines do? First, we start with automation and full electrical works on bucket wheel excavator 6600, one of the huge machines used in the mining industry. Trailing cable wound on the console cable drum with slip rings for connecting MV switchgear power supply cables is used to realize the primary bucket wheel excavator or BWE power supply which is 6 kV. The detailed and as-built design, e-house and cabinet assembly, FATS, application software, complete electrical works, site supervision, and commissioning were all provided by microcontrol. This is the restoration of electrical equipment of mining machines damaged by floods at the Tamnav mines in RB Kolubara. The damage from the flood in Kolubara mines is estimated at 100 million euros minimum. The Kolubar Basin floods resulted in the deaths of numerous mining equipment. The majority of their electrical equipment was totally destroyed. The electrical equipment was restored when the water was pumped away. A significant portion of the work has been finished and numerous machines are now back in use. If we are going to take a look at the huge machines in the harvesting field after mining, it is best to start with the Roper Mouse 6 with Tiger 6S and Panther 2S. This is the world's most potent two-axle sugar beet harvester from the market leader, combining even more efficiency with digital networking. Before the beets are gently moved to the 1,000 mm wide bunker elevator, the first Civ star with a diameter of 1,740 mm is followed by two others, each with a diameter of 1,550 mm. The electronic truck mixer is another example of a giant machine. With a water capacity of 11.05 cubic meters, this mixer has an electric drum drive that offers full performance and availability, measured at the minimum rate of two drum revolutions per minute, in line with DIM4591. The specified capacities and water volumes only apply to mixer frames that are horizontally oriented. What about bulldozers? Built for Cat D11 dozers working in hard rock, SES shoes feature more wear material and beefier construction. Heavy-duty undercarriage is specifically engineered for hard rock applications, where impact levels range from moderate to high. Built for jobs requiring a wear life of 5,000 hours or more, it's tough enough to handle harsh impact applications with wear material designed for long life in abrasive conditions. With the CAT D11T Big Dozer, the hydraulically operated ladder quickly and easily extends and retracts, allowing access. You may improve your machine's performance and efficiency for a lot less money by using CAT Certified Rebuild. CAT equipment is designed to last not just one lifetime, but several, 
and a CAT certified rebuild helps you maximize the financial return on your initial investment. One of the most different things to do with this big bulldozer machine is to fire the DT-11T and see how they drive over a pickup truck to get on the nerves of hockey fans. The world's largest duty hammer forging factory. Due to their durability, anti-corrosion properties, high strength and extended service life, forged hollows are frequently used in high temperature pressure and other difficult circumstances such as hydrogen reactors, nuclear reactor pressure vessels, evaporators, submarine oil and gas pipelines, etc. This is how the hammer forged in one of the giant machines you will ever see is processed this way. For even bigger machines, let's take a look at cross-rail tunneling machines. These enormous machines have a revolving cutter head up front and many trailers in the back that include all the mechanical and electrical tools needed for material excavation. The 6.2 meter diameter rail tunnels will be built in 10 separate tunnel drives by the tunnel boring machines to complete the 42 kilometers of tunnel needed for cross rail. Each TBM will be up to 140 meters long, weigh roughly 1,000 tons and have an exterior diameter of 7.1 meters. After the concrete tunnel segments are in place, this permits an interior tunnel diameter of 6.2 meters. Finally, it would be appropriate to conclude by giving an example of the Sarin's SGC 250 crane one of the gigantic machines in this series. The largest crane in its fleet and the most powerful globally, the enormous SGC-250 crane was released. This crane can lift an astounding 5,000 tons thanks to its maximum load moment of 250,000 metric tons. It can lift an astounding 2,000 tons even at a radius of 100 meters. The giant machines, of which we have been accustomed to all sizes for many years, especially in sectors such as construction and heavy rolling, continue to fascinate everyone who watches them, both because of their appearance and ability to accomplish work in a shorter time. These are the biggest for now, until we find bigger ones.